Our next guest is known for his indie pop soul sound and smooth rhymes. And now he has a new album out and is adding a creative new video to his infectious vibe. <laughs> Singer-songwriter Russell Taylor. Welcome back hey, to the what's show. Up? Thank you. All Thank right. you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome back because the last time you were here, you were a VH1 You Oughta Know artist. Yes. How did uh, that whole experience help your already blossoming career? Man, it's, it's been a tremendous ride. Last year was been a year for me. Um, the single we rode all the way until the end of the summer. Um, I had a lot of offers, a lot of interest, mm. a, a lot of great play. Um, then we the released the next single, the next video, which was Hope. You have some of the pictures there in the background. Yeah, um, yeah we're going to talk about that one in definitely. a few. And then, then now we're here. We got the release of the full record in, at the end of January. And uh, Yeah, you were talking about the album War of Hearts when you were here, and yes. now it has finally come out. Finally. Yeah. So yes. tell, audience, tell our audience what they can expect on an album. Um, this record is a, if, it's like a gumbo of, mm. of soul music, emo, a little bit of pop. Um, and it's, it's about the journey of love, particularly a man's journey uh, in, in love and all the ups and downs. Okay, so. based on real, your own real life experiences. And, and a little bit from the outside, some of the things I see and absorb things as I travel. Things that you have friends talking about, that exactly. sort of thing. Exactly. Let's talk about your new single from the album, yes. right? Which is called Blueprint, Blueprint. And you have a very creative video yes. um, that you've released for this single. Talk to us about this video, because it's, it's very cool and different. Yes. Isn't it? So, you know, we see videos with the artists and beautiful women and background and scenery and so forth. And uh, this time, because of the title, Blueprint, it makes me think of drawing and, gra and, and uh, an actual blueprint. Yeah. So, I've, I commissioned an artist, a young artist, uh, to animate the video, which <laughs> is. How, how sure. old? How, well, she's. She's younger, she's like 19, but she's okay. a tremendous talent. And I've already seen a couple of the shorts from it, and it's, yeah. I couldn't be more impressed. That's it's pretty awesome. hot, yeah. Nice. And it's called Blueprint, so what are you Blueprint. trying to offer the Blueprint for? For well, love, for life, what? For love, for people, like, you know, especially living in the city, sometimes we get, with someone that we're very much in love with, we get separated by life and mm. happenstance. Mm -hmm. And it's about finding, having a blueprint of finding your way back to love, finding your mm. way back to the person that you love. I nice. Like that, and yeah. you mentioned Hope a little earlier. Yes. You released a video with Hope and it features a family. Yes. Right? It's very focused on family. What kind of message were you trying to drive across to, to viewers well, with, with that video? I am an African American man mm -hmm. and I come from a, a tradition of African American men that have no problems with being demonstrative, showing love to their families. And I don't think that there are enough images, positive images of African American men and their families, yeah. particularly younger African American men and their families. And, and doing this for this video was very important to me. Yeah. So, so do you think this song will help inspire people to step up and be a man and be that family man, opposed to just being great music? I would hope so, but yeah. also it would, my I want people to see it and be inspired and say that, Love looks like a whole lot of things. Yeah. And it can be in a family of any race, culture, creed, or whatever. And, yeah. and I want people to kind of broaden their, their scope of what they expect. Like yeah, because yeah. a lot of young male singers, they sing about uh, polygamy. It's not, <laughs> right. it's not getting monogamy, ladies. is right. it? Yeah, it's Indeed. like getting multiple ladies and all that kind of stuff. Indeed. But what's your take on that? I mean, there, there's so much of that. That's what most of, you know, a lot of R&B music especially is about. Well, you know with our, uh, it runs the gamut. People, yeah. whatever your experience, I, I don't, ha I can't come from a place of judgment in, yeah. in someone else's art. I can only be an activist in my music, you know. Mm -hmm. And what works for some of the other artists, it's cool, you know. But I want people when they think about me and they think about my work and body of work, I want them to to know me, and this represents me. Yeah. Well, where do you draw your musical inspiration from? Oh man, from everything, from from film, from. Uh, uh, as far as music, growing up, I listened to Roberta Flack and Crosby, Sales and Nash. This is from my yeah. parents. Right, right. And Donny Hathaway, Marvin Gaye. Um, and then once, once I got a little older, Foreigner, um, mm. uh, all types of gospel music. So, okay. I, I mean, it could go anywhere with me. Yeah, and later this month, you're actually going to be going on tour. Yes. Right. Tell us yes. about the tour. Tell us about the name of the tour, where you're going to be going, sure. where we can get to see you, will it be New York City? Of course, oh yeah. yeah, New York is pending. Yeah. Uh, that should be sometime in middle to late April. Mm -hmm. um, the, it's called the Soldier Series. 
and okay. performances Why? that well I, all my Twitter fans and followers are called soldiers S O U L J E R S oh, so yeah, soldiers. Yeah. Okay, you should yeah. have to say it like soldiers <laughs> 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 Celebrities for artists now yes. to name right. their fans, isn't it? Yeah, and it's good to be able to kind of see, see, search them out with the hashtag, you know? Mm, yeah. Um, so I start uh, at the end of this month and I get to travel to Oakland, to LA, Miami, Chicago, uh, Philadelphia, Delaware, Washington, D.C. Okay. So wow. I'm, the reason why I do music is because of the charge that I get when I'm on stage. So I'm very much looking forward to performing. Yeah. All right. yeah. well, speaking of performing, Mary J. Blige, Jill Scott, Indy Ari, all people you've performed with. So who's giving you the best advice? Who have you learned the most from? Hmm. Oh. Okay, so well, I have to think about that one. <laughs> oh, I mean, the three that I have, I, I, Layla Hathaway. Oh, wow. Uh, what does she tell you? That you, once you perform, once you record, that it's gone. You have to let it go. You mm. can't obsess over something once it's done. Like, oh, I wasn't perfect right. enough. Exactly. Let me record again and again. You don't, do you do that? I, or I used, you to, used to do before it. the advice. Oh, ah, yeah. so that's good. And you took the advice. At, exactly. She's okay. been a tremendous support and mentor and friend. Because um, it's probably never going to be perfect enough. Right. Ever. Right. Artists are never. very critical. Life is not work. perfect. Yeah. yeah. And the artists, we're crazy, so we try to make it. Things that are impossible happen. Yeah. But and time know. is money in that studio. Hey. Get in and get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. it. That's true. <laughs> you got that right. Um, Lettucey has also been a great, tremendous yeah. um, inspiration and support. And Estelle. Estelle has oh. been a oh, great Estelle. friend. We just yeah. had her on recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's killing. She was just on Empire. Right. Yeah, she so was. Was. It. Yeah. yeah, so. Beautiful so, are we going to see you collaborating maybe with Estelle yeah. anytime soon? You, you oh. never know what the future holds. Mm. Yeah. So, um, I would totally be open to it. We'll see. Okay. Maybe our schedules are aligned and recorded and we'll see what happens. Well, speaking of the future, besides the tour, what are you, what else is up next for you? Um, well, we're going to be out and promoting the record. Mm -hmm. um, I start recording again uh, just before, in the top of spring for the next album. Wow, this one just came out. You're getting the next one, huh? Man, you got to keep working, man. Wow. You got to keep, keep on going. <laughs> no okay. break, no vacation. Uh... Well, I just went to South Africa, so that was a oh, little bit. Oh, you did? Yeah, so it was and kind that of was a, vacation a work, to working vacation. Where did you go okay. in South Africa? I went to Cape Town and Johannesburg. Wow. So uh, nice. hopefully I'll be going back there. Yeah, shout out to our fans in South Africa. They're Indeed. watching you here. They're yeah. watching you now. And you gotta tell them, make sure you go get the new album check Get out the new the album. Single. War of Hearts. War of on Hearts. iTunes, Amazon, Google Play. All right. Thank All you right, so much for joining us again. Thank you. Thank All you right, for Russell. having me. Thanks, right. Russell. <laughs> and we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.